Josh has never felt good enough. Like I said, I'm terrible. But he has a chance to change all that. My hair look okay. By gaining some confidence and being made into a true ladies' man. I am adored by everyone. Girls love to be around me. Go me. Go me. With a little beginner's luck. I got a nut yesterday. Josh is on top of the world. Yes! But when his luck runs out. Can't really get her to talk. Josh will be forced to confront the real reason for his lack of confidence. How's your relationship with your dad right now? I don't want to talk about it. I've been there, man. I've been there. I've been through it. And you can talk to me about that. How did you find out? Cut it off. See that menacing beast? That's me, Josh Sparks. On the wrestling map, I don't have a fear in the world. Wrestling, I can't get enough of it. I love it. How many people you know got biceps like these? Do -do 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 -do. Off the map is a different story. Josh Sparks, he's different, he's himself. He's kind of shy, and he comes off a little awkward. And I need some serious help with the ladies. I act very shy around girl. You wanna see Nah, I'm good. I'll sit here and play with I'm afraid they're gonna think I'm an idiot. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. One last time. <laughs> and there's this one girl who makes me super nervous. There's a girl at my school. Her name's Ashley. She's like everything that I've described in a perfect girl. The oldest animal ever to live is the, uh, the turtle. Josh is the kind of guy that's like really smart. During the Civil War, there was a huge temperature spike. You know, he tells you things that you didn't really know or want to know, but yeah. Chelsea, my face is too big for my glasses. It's not. Most of the girls I know at school are strictly in their friend zone. Like my best friend Chelsea. He's asked me out before, but because of the friendship, we were too good of friends and I didn't want to take a chance on ruining it. Where you then there's Casey. I think she has a crush on me, but I don't really know for sure. And I'm afraid to make a move. Josh is just cute and he's funny and he'd like always be there for me, like no matter what. Women kill me. <laughs> We may kill me. I might feel shy at school, but at home, I can totally be myself. Josh is probably one of the most fun-loving, give it 110% at everything he does, kid. He's the most likable person I've ever met. He's not just my stepson, he's just my best friend. I agree, that's true. My stepdad is awesome, but he's no replacement for my real dad. My mom and dad divorced when I was about 10 years old. My dad actually lives pretty close to me, about 15, 20 minutes away. But um, my dad has stage four cancer. I've been trying to be there for him as much as I can. And it's just it's taking a real hard toll on me. But uh, he's my role model. He's who I look to outdo. My dad's a good person, yes. But I want to be better than my dad. I want to be a great person. My dad was always the ladies' man, so I want to be the ladies' man. I want to show my dad that I can push myself even farther. I'm ready to break out of my shell and prove to everyone that under this shy exterior, there's a cool, confident, outgoing young man. I want to have every girl falling head over heels. I want to be able to pick one girl out of a huge crowd and say, would you come on a date with me? And have her say yes. It was Saturday, and I was playing video games as usual. But not for long. Hey Josh, it's time for your first day, and it's all up to you. Set a table for two and prepare a meal. Be sure to show me how much of a gentleman you are on your first day. Looking forward to meeting you in one hour. See you soon, TB. I'm extremely nervous because I'm not sure who's coming over. Assistance, please. It might be a girl. What's up? We cooking breakfast. My plan so far is just to make breakfast. Ah! I have prepped a meal before with my mom a lot. Just get that done right away and then change my clothes, make my hair look nice, uh, brushing the teeth. I really didn't get a good chance to brush them this morning. So go ahead and go back over them. Just look my best. Sweet loving in the afternoon. A little kissing and some hugging too. Sweet loving in the afternoon is what I want to do with you. Very nice. I have prepared five slices of bacon, I prepared eggs, I have the salt laid out, I have two cups ready for a pot of coffee which is brewing right now. So that's about it. 
Josh, not quite what you expected, huh? Not really. <laughs> I'm Travis Brown. I am your maid coach. That's Travis Brown. He's a motivational speaker and life coach who works with all kinds of kids. And it looks like he's my date for this afternoon. The first thing I thought of when I saw Travis was, where's the girl at? I didn't have much to work with, so I made breakfast. OK. Please have a seat. Oh, thank you, man. It was kind of awkward to be on a man date. Uh, I mean, I've very rarely been on girl dates, so a man date wasn't exactly my cup of tea. And did you make these? Uh, yes. I made almost all of it except for the grit, the oatmeal, which I did not know how to make. Okay. Awkward silence. You know, I think Josh did a pretty decent job of preparing for his date. I just don't think he had confidence. He didn't know what to say, and I didn't help him out. And I know that's that spot where if you're with a lady, man, that can be so uncomfortable. Even turn them off in a point that you don't get a second date. Are you nervous? Extremely. Why? Yeah, I'm not very talkative. I'm not very, uh, well, talkative with new people. Uh, after the first couple days, I'll start talking more. I'll get to know you better and I'll, you won't, pretty much you won't be able to get me shut up. <laughs> so what is a ladies' man to you? Uh, a ladies' man is someone who's confident, can go up to anybody, not just the ladies, and talk to them, and can get the girls to fall head over heels for them. And so why do you struggle in this department? Um, girls kind of scare me because of the fear of rejection and okay. uh, humiliation. I go up to them, I say hi, and then it's just automatic friend zone. I can't get out of the friend zone. And do you have a specific girl in mind out there? There's a girl that just moved here from California. Her name is Ashley. She's beautiful. She's really nice. And I really like her. So. All right. Talk to me about family. Um, I live with my mom and stepdad. And my biological father, I like to call him a lot, talk to him, spend the weekend with him. But um, he has cancer. I've always wanted to make him more proud of me, which he's proud of me already. But I just want to say, hey, I did this. Also, my father wants the best for me, so I want to make him happy, especially with his cancer. When Josh started talking about his biological father, I really felt like, man, I can just feel the hurt. He shared with me that his father has cancer. I know those things are tugging on him, and I want to help him feel good about himself, who he is, uh, so he can do things for him to really make his dad proud of him. Four weeks from now, you have a special Valentine's Day dance. Would you like to have a date for that? Yes, yes I would. I think it'd be awesome. So we're going to figure out how do we get you from where you're at right now to be able to get a date for that dance. I'm very excited to get started with Travis, but I'm also very nervous because I'm not used to talking to people and I'm kind of afraid of what he's going to put in front of me. Well, it's good meeting you. I think Josh struggles with what millions of kids struggle with is that self-worth, self-value, self-confidence, those insecurities. Looking forward to this, man. This is going to be a crazy ride for him to be a successful ladies' man. I don't think Josh has any idea what he's in for. See you soon. All right, see you there. Travis decided that our first lesson was going to be at a local pool hall. Hey, man. How you doing, man? I'm all right. How are you? You good? Yeah, I'm good. So, why you got me here? <laughs> You're not nervous already, are you? I can't play pool. Oh, man. I'm even gonna let you break today, all right? How about that? You sure you want me to break? Oh, yeah. Like I said, I'm terrible. You're what? Like I said, I'm terrible. Okay, now listen. When I first walked up, you said, why am I here because I am what? Bad at pool. So if I think that way, I feel that way, what do you think's gonna come out when I actually do it? Nothing good. Nothing good. So how do you think we're gonna change that? Think that you're gonna do it. Ah, let's, let's, let's try again, let's try again. See? Already better. Nice. Did you think that you were going to make that ball? Uh, actually, I thought I might have. You see how it's all connected together? Confidence is key. That's exactly right. I want you to remember that feeling. 
Because tomorrow's school, I want you to ask a girl out on a date. Okay. Okay? So, if I ask you right now, are you a great ladies' man? Yes. Ah. All right. Turn that into a sentence for me. I am a great ladies' man. All right. So one of the things that I want you to do is come up with at least four or five things like that, statements, put them on a little note card, and you're going to stand in front of the mirror, and you're going to speak them out loud. OK. You know, Josh had an aha moment tonight. He started to realize that he needs to be more confident, which starts with the way he speaks, the way he carries himself. It's about being positive. And the more you speak it out loud, the more you start to believe it, the more you start to own it. You up for round two? That's right. Rack them up. Travis asked me to do some affirmations and talk to myself in the mirror. It's uncomfortable as heck. I don't like it. I'm usually the brick wall and I don't let my feelings show. So it's like, it's hit me in the soft spot. I am confident in all that I do. I am adored by everyone. Girls love to be around me. Girls enjoy talking to me. I can maintain a steady conversation with anybody. I am a person who can accomplish any task before me. I feel like somehow the affirmations are gonna help. But just like standing in the mirror, saying stuff over and over and over again and believing it isn't helping me. I did not know how I was going to get a date. Hey, some girl told me to give this night. Cool, thanks, man. See you. Later, man. But then something weird happened. I got a note. And this one wasn't from Travis. It was from a girl. Hey, Josh, I really like you and I want to hang out sometime. You already got my number, but I really don't know what to say. I'll talk to you later. Baby. Go me, go me, go me. It's my birthday, it's my birthday. Maybe those affirmations are actually working. I think I might know who it is. Uh, I think it's my friend Casey. I don't think it's Chelsea, but if it was Ashley, that'd be great. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Hey, Chelsea. Got some information. Yes. I got a note yesterday. I heard. You did? She stopped me upstairs. Her and AJ. So it is who I think it is. <laughs> uh, yeah. Information. <laughs> You didn't hear it from me. Gotcha. No problem. No problem. But, um, yeah, I had to find a date by, like, today. So I'm thinking about asking whoever sent me that. Cool. Okay. I knew who wrote the letter. And I knew just where to find her. Hey, Casey. A little inside tip told me that was you who sent the note. Uh, you sent me a note. Come on, spill it. No, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you who told me, but somebody told me. Maybe a little part. <laughs> so you did send it. Okay, well. Excellent timing, AJ. Excellent timing. Yeah. Well, anyways, um, thinking maybe you might want to go on a date sometime. Are you serious? Yeah. You know, just get to know each other. That sounds like really fun. Are you serious, though? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I'll call you with the details. OK, okay cool. Okay. I am kind of excited to go on a date with Casey because Casey's a really pretty girl. She's really nice. Ready to get it on. You know me, right? And I'm not going to badmouth anyone, right? Yeah. I was warned by somebody to warn you about Casey. I know that she does like you, yes. I know that. And she really, really does. But someone told me that the only reason she was talking to you was because of the whole MTV thing. I just thought that I'd let you know because you're my best friend. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to hide anything from you, so I thought I'd let you know what was said. I'm not really sure what to think, 
if she is in it just for the attention, then so be it. She's still a friend, but nothing will come of it. It's your take from Chelsea. It's mind-boggling. You know, you can talk about it, man. He looked at me, shook his head, and said, I don't talk about it anymore. I've lined up some dates for you to get some practice in on tonight. This will give you an opportunity to work on your communication skills. This is what's going to help you in your upcoming dates. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, your first date, so get comfortable. All right. All right. Be right back. Josh, this is Montaigne. Montaigne, this is Josh. Hi, hello, Josh. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Just fine. I thought a nursing home could be a different environment for him. You know, number one, there's ladies that have had a lot of experience over life, and uh, for him to have to take control of the conversation, I thought this was a perfect setup for that. So, um, the person that you met before, his name's Travis. Um, he's teaching me how to communicate better with uh, ladies and bring my true self out to show the world who I really am. That's wonderful. You are a very nice looking young man. I have three boys. Really? They're in their thirties. No. You look about 25 to me. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> He's a very nice young man. If I had a daughter, I think I would be glad, honored to have him date her. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I'm Josh. I've actually wanted to become a kind of like a ladies' man, but still a very gentleman. Um, do you have any advice for me on how to accomplish this goal? Mm, be yourself. Show them respect. But um, play the field. You don't have to settle down to one person. You get hurt that way. Play the field, have some fun. Have you ever been in a situation where you have more than one person that you like? <laughs> I run into situations like that nowadays. <laughs> he was a perfect young gentleman. Would you like me to take you back? If you would. I definitely learned a lot tonight. One, be yourself. And if they like me, they like me. Two, just kind of play the field. I think it was great advice, and I'm definitely going to use it. I was ready to put all that I had learned to the test. And despite the rumors about Casey, I was excited about my date with her. Pretty good. Not that bad. I hate to ask this, but because of all the attention I've been getting, a couple of people are saying that you just like me because of the attention I'm getting. I don't think that's true, is it? I mean, no, because I've always thought you was pretty cool and like fun to hang out with. So, um, you actually really have pretty eyes. I mean, they're like... Oh, thank you. <laughs> I really do like him, and I hope, like, something happens. The date went really good. I mean, I really think she likes me for me. But it's just the first of many for this ladies man. Chelsea had been wrong about Casey, but I could only wonder what she was thinking now. Seeing how he acts around Casey, I can tell that he's happy that she likes him, and it's like the best friend code of conduct. If your best friend's happy, you're happy. He knows what he's in for. And don't get me wrong, I've known Casey for ages. She's awesome. She's like the perfect girl for him. It's just... Casey? Yeah. Right? The, yeah. He asked me out freshman year. I had no idea who he was. I told him, I said, maybe we should just be friends. And he goes, Okay, and he kind of hung his head, and I looked at him, and I was like, but I have a feeling we're going to be, like, the best of friends. And he kind of smiled at me. In all honesty, if I could go back to that day freshman year, I would take that no back and say yes to the Josh that I know now. I think y'all would be a perfect couple. Yeah. But Casey's just, yeah. you know? Hey. Yeah, I'll talk to you later, Kelsey. See you, Kelsey. take from Chelsea. Josh, look, I can't stand this anymore, so I'm gonna tell you. After spending a year or so getting to know you, not only have you become my best friend, but I've also begun to like you. 
I've been too scared to speak up because I'm just weird like that. I had to teach myself how not to choke up around you. You are an amazing person. I thought you should know the truth. I don't know what to say about it. It's mind-boggling. You're gonna laugh. I have the Hannibal Lecter movies in my book bag. <laughs> Why do you have Hannibal Lecter in your We had to present a project in Com Skills today, and I just like the way that Lecter thinks. It's weird, but yeah, I like the way he thinks. Um, His reasoning for doing things, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, well, um, a couple of things I need to talk to you about. I'm all ears. Okay. First of all, excellent date. Just wanted to let you know that. I'm proud for you. I'm happy for you. Thank you. And also, um, we may need to talk about the TXT. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, well, you know. That I like you about. I mean, but it's only as a friend. Yeah, I know. And so, just thought I'd put that out there. Yeah, it's fine. Well, I mean... I just figured I should tell you the truth as it was, so... Yeah, but you're just my bud. Mm-hmm. We cool? Thank you, Holmes. Cool. Is that all you needed? Yep, pretty much. All right. That went smoother than I expected. I thought it was going to be really crazy and she was going to flip out on me, but I think it kind of hurt her a little bit, which hurts me. And I mean, I just told my best friend who likes me that I only like her as a friend and I think I broke her heart. Where am I going? That way. What's up, man? What's up? How you doing? I'm pretty good, pretty good. I met up with Travis to fill him in on my date with Casey. The date went awesome. All right. Had her blushing the whole time. What? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I did pretty well. Sounds like it. Is this a girl that you kind of like? I'm not really ready to stick with just one just yet. I'd like to kind of broaden my horizon. All right. Do you have any big plans for the weekend? No. Well, guess what? You do now. Here's what I thought would be really cool if we had a chance to go on a double date, you know? That way I get a chance to see you in action. Maybe potentially this is a chance to uh, reach out to Ashley. Maybe take her on a date. Travis has me going on a double date with him. <sighs> Killing me, Travis. Why don't you try it real quick? Okay. I'll be Ashley. Okay. Hey, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what you up to? That's how you're gonna start? Maybe. Let's Maybe. try again. Okay. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? You don't do the voice. <laughs> don't do the voice. All right. All right. Hello? Hi. Uh, this is Josh. No. That's, work. that's yeah. way too, like, stiff. Like, hi, my name is Josh. Will you go out with me? No. You're like, well, hey, Ashley, this is Josh. Hey, Ashley, this is Josh. Perfect. Hey, Josh. Hey, uh, I was wondering if you have anything planned for tomorrow. Well, I'm kind of busy tomorrow, Josh. I, we have a bunch of stuff going on and... Oh, all right. I was wondering maybe if there's any flexibility in your schedule to maybe if you want to go out. That's pretty good, buddy. I'm kind of scared. If I don't get the date with Ashley, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I'm about to call Ashley. I'm really nervous about this. She's one of the prettiest girls in school. I mean... It's it's one of the biggest things I've ever done. Hello. Hey, Ashley, this is Josh. Hey. Hey, um, I was wondering, do you have any plans for tomorrow? Um, no. Well, I was wondering, uh, would you mind, well, would you like to go on a date with me? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Yes! I I'll let you know the details later. Later. I got a date with Ashley. Uh, bye. Bye. Ta-da! I'm very confident about today's date. I'm not as nervous as I thought I would be. Bye. I'm just ready to get this thing on the road, see how I do. This was it. 
a date with my dream girl. Hey, Travis. What's up, man? How you doing, man? All right. Good. Hey, Josh, this is my fiance, Bree. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet this you. This is Josh. Hi, I'm uh, this is Ashley. Ashley Travis, how you doing? Nice to meet you. This is the Ashley, right? This is the Ashley. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited to get to know Josh outside of school, see if he's a little bit more fun and smart. Try this. I was really hoping that a friendly game of bowling would help break the ice. How are you liking school so far? It's alright. School. Can't really get her to talk. Oh, well, I think it will go better over dinner. We've had some classes together. Is that kind of how you know each other? Yes. Latin. Latin? Uh, I, I really didn't take to it too well. I only passed the class with a C. This I'm not sure is the right match for either of them, which is kind of disheartening because you want him so much to be successful. I think tonight Josh was really evaluating Ashley. And you know what? I don't think that she is the best fit for him, maybe. Boy, this date did not go like I hoped it would. I wouldn't say Josh is boyfriend material. He's my friend and nothing more. My dream date had turned out to be more like a nightmare. But hey, what are you gonna do? You were so stoked about Ashley. We had a conversation, you were just like, oh. Just because I got one rejection doesn't mean I'm quitting. A little pain never hurt nobody. I love that. A little pain never hurt anybody. But I also want you to be able to say, man, it hurt. And, it, and I'm hurting and it's bothering me. And, it, and realize that, that sometimes it's OK to say that. I don't want to show my emotions. I don't want to, like, when my dad got cancer, everyone cried. I was the only one who didn't. But that's because I held my feelings back. And why not? I felt that I could. Okay. But what I really want you to try to understand is that you have to be able to release it sometimes and just be okay saying it hurts. Now, we haven't talked about this that much and I understand if you don't want to talk about it in detail, but how's your relationship with your dad right now? Mine and my dad, we're really close. We talk about everything we can. Now, my guess is but there's some pain on the inside. What's it? What's this mean? What's that mean? I don't want to talk about it. We all have these things in our life that we hope nobody else knows. Things that hurt, things that have happened to us, and we just try to bury them. And you know, you can talk about it, man. Cause we, I mean, because we all have those situations. And I just want you to know that if you don't feel like you can talk to anybody else about it, you can talk to me about it, man. You know that? When Josh and I started to talk about his dad's situation, I mean, he really shut down. It really, honestly, just kind of broke my heart. You know, I can tell something he's still trying to figure out. There may be a few other things underneath there we got to deal with still, and it starts with him. Really, I want to stop by to kind of just share some other things that, that I have seen and, and some of the conversations that Josh and I have had. You know, one of the things I noticed with Josh is that a lot of times he, uh, he's trying not to get too emotionally involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's almost like he has kind of a wall built up or right. a, a gate. Yes. And we hit a spot when I started asking about his dad. Mm -hmm. And um, for the first time I saw him really just lock up and shut down. He looked at me, shook his head and said, I don't talk about it anymore. His dad never was really in his life. He was always a truck driver. And um, he was home maybe two weekends a month. We were married for 10 years. You know, like Father Sunday, I gotta go, I gotta go drive my truck. I can't be there, so. 
that's the wall you're seeing. After today's conversation with Josh's mom, I really feel like I have a much better understanding of who he is, the struggles that he's faced, and why he's where he's at. I think this really helps me, you know, open up some doors and, and you know, reveal some things to Josh about myself that I think can really help him get through this. Come on in. When we were talking the other night, and I was thinking about some of the things that we both have gone through, I noticed like to feel like you have to be that rock trying to make up for what my dad didn't do. I get it. I've been there, man. I've been there. I've been through it. And through all that, I just want you to understand that, that you can talk to me about that. I just want you to know that, man. Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. How did you find out? How to find out what? How did you find out? How to find out It's what? pretty obvious. You know that my dad hasn't been there for me. How did you find out? Wait. Cut it off. Honestly, I don't care that you become a ladies man. What I care that you become is a great person that's self-confident, that believes in himself, value, self-worth, and that you feel great about yourself every single day when you get up. You can look in your mirror and you can be proud of who you are. That's what I care about. And guess what? My... My dad should have been there teaching me that, and he wasn't. I just want you to understand, that's why I'm here, man. He never really... He never really was there. He hasn't came to a single wrestling match, and I've been wrestling for four years. He could never make time for me. So I've learned how to just blow it off. That's why my wall's there, because I don't know what to do. I've talked to him about it, but it just it stays there. That's the first time I've ever opened up to anybody. My mom's tried to get me to open up, I shut down. Ed's tried to get me to open up, I shut down. I didn't tell anybody, because I didn't think they'd understand. I feel like a huge waste just been dropped. It's going to take another talk with your dad at some point in time. It's not because he doesn't love you. You may not feel it. That doesn't mean that he doesn't feel that way. But you have to try to decide right now, what do I want my relationship with my dad in the future to be like? Because the truth is, we never know how long somebody's going to be with us. And you told me that your dad is in a stage four situation. I feel like on one side, Josh wants to be like his dad, but on the other side, He's struggling to find a connection to somebody who just hasn't really been there for him, and that's deep. I knew I had to work on my relationship with my dad, but I couldn't let another day go by without making plans to go out with another girl. And I decided to get some help from the most popular guy at school. You gotta, like, introduce me to people. That's what I can do. Josh asked me to help him get a date, and I was trying to think of who I could possibly talk to when my friends mentioned the name Lizzie. You know Josh. Smart shot. Okay. I need to get him a date by tomorrow. Would you go on a date with him, please? I don't really know him, though. It's just a nice time. We'll see. Thank you. <laughs> My hair look okay? I was talking to Luke, and he said that this girl Lizzie might be a good choice for me. So I'm gonna see if Lizzie wants to go out. Hi. Hey. Hey, um, I had a, I need a date for tomorrow night, and I had a friend tell me that you were really cool. Would you mind going with me? Sure. Okay. I got a yes, man. I'm stoked. Hi. 
I was a little iffy at first, but Josh seems like a pretty nice guy, so why not go have fun? Right now I'm on a date with Liz, and we're at this ice cream parlor slash putt putt arena. Don't laugh at me. Liz is really cute tonight. She has this gray shirt on with a cool scarf. She's really pretty. Don't look. Liz is the coolest chick ever. She has a great personality. She's super pretty. She's smart. I'm just so comfortable around her. She's so cool. Okay. No pressure. See if you can do better. <laughs> Let's not quit our day jobs to become golfers. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. The only thing that was going on in my mind the whole time was, oh my gosh. This girl is awesome. I think I'll definitely have to ask her on another day sometime. I knew what I wanted my second date with Liz to be. Hey, um, I had fun on our date. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was wondering, would you mind going to the Valentine's dance with me? Going to the Valentine's dance with me? Would you want to be like, is this friends or? Whatever. Yeah, let's. So we can go, is this friends? Sounds good. And we'll just have a good time. Alright. Okay. See ya. Uh -huh. She said she just wanted to go as friends. That's fine by me. Maybe we may become more, maybe we may not. What do you think, man? I like it. Yeah? Feels good. Glasses, gone. I like it. It looks good. What up, Sparks? What up, what up with the shirt, man? Wow, Sparks. Just wow. Wow. You look wonderful. I like your hair. Girls were really reacting to Josh. Even teachers, everybody's been talking to him saying you look better now. Really nice today. Thank you. Everyone's reaction about my new look was amazing. I look good. Hey man, what's up? Today's the Valentine's Day dance. Getting excited. When I was driving over here, I started thinking, man, when I met this kid, he wouldn't even look at me. It's before I was just so nervous that I was gonna fail. I was gonna do something wrong. I'm like, if I do something wrong, who cares? What I think I was able to do for Josh is help him uncover what was already there. I mean, he was already a great kid. He already had a huge heart. It was just making him realize that it's okay to be him. Styling. You look good. Yeah. The person that Joshua was four weeks ago is no longer in this house. He is so confident that that person will never be here again. I got a little surprise for you. Jay Riggs. Nice. La, 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 la. You know how we do it. <laughs> and one of those two. All right, man. Liz is gonna freak out. Hi. Hey. You look you look great. good. You too. Have fun. I'm just waiting for you. The party had started, and I knew it was gonna be a great night. I'm so confident right now. I'm like, bring it on, baby. I mean, I've had some pretty rocking days, but this is the best day ever. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Josh. Well, I'm like, like the girl in the neighborhood. Where is he? And this one's for you. Before I was the lowest link on the food chain, now I'm pretty much the top dog. The old Josh, he would always back down from challenges. I didn't like him. The new me, I love him. He's so fun. I thought my dad was the ladies' man. He ain't got nothing on me. Well, I'm about to call my dad. Travis said that it might be in my best interest to call him, kind of tell him what all's happened. Hey, Alan. Hey, Dad. Hey, boy, what you doing? Ah, uh, nothing much. I kind of wanted to tell you what happened at school. What? Well, 
I kind of turned some heads. Okay. And, I mean, I just really look good. Yeah, we well, did look good, Josh. I actually got a date, too. A Valentine's Day dance. Did you ask her? Did she ask you? I asked her. That's good. So you're you're happy about everything, are you? Yep, very happy. As long as you're happy and, and you think things will work out, Josh, that's all that matters. Well, listen, you take care of yourself, and I love you, Josh. If you need me or anything, call me. I will. Okay, I love you, boy. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. It was nice to talk to Dad again. In the future, I plan on kind of calling him a little bit more, talking to him more, kind of working on our relationship, telling him how I really feel. I'm definitely going to have to talk to him. Saw you standing there, highway broken down.